My name is Art Schmitz, I'm the Director of the Electric Department for the City of Elkhorn, and this is Ken Truckee, one of our linemen. We're here today to demonstrate the safety that you need to consider in your homes, your family life, your backyards. The rest of our presentation today will be showing you other things in your life that you will see electricity looking for its path to ground. You never want to put your body in that path to ground, whether that be at play, at work, or doing something perhaps you shouldn't do like climbing trees or poles near electrical wires. If you find yourself in a situation where you're involved in a car accident and the electric wire was down and laying on top of the car, the first thing you would consider is the fact that you don't know whether that wire is energized or not. By the appearance of the car, you don't see any arcing, you would suspect that that down wire is perhaps dead, wrong. You don't know. So, walking up to the car, is where you would create that path to ground. So, what do you do? In this situation, stay in the car. There's no fire, there's no arcing, you're safe. Now, if there was a fire in the car, what is the next thing you need to consider? You need to consider getting out of that car in a safe mode without touching the ground at the car at the same time. So you would enter the doorway, keeping your hands free of the door, and then jumping from the car as far as you possibly can, landing on the ground without touching the car at the same time. For this demonstration, we're going to show you the hazards of excavating near and underground wires. First of all, before you ever even consider digging in your backyard with anything, whether it be a backhoe, shovel, or any way that you could possibly expose an underground wire, call Digger's Hotline. It's a free service. Dial 811. We'll get you in touch with an operator who is scheduled to have a locating service come out free of charge and locate the facility. <laughs> Notice how the electricity is going from the backhoe to the human being as soon as he tries to attempt to touch it. The backhoe tires insulated that past the ground. So the backhoe was totally energized until the operator attempted to touch it. So the same is true if you were trying to get off that backhoe, open the doors, don't touch the doors at the same time you touch the ground, and jump as far as you can. The next thing we're going to talk about is hazards in the backyard. A couple that are real importance to you that you don't think may be uh, very important are the hazards of working around or playing around, more importantly, transformers and electric equipment. On the far right, we have a green box. If you look at this green box up closer, you'll recognize it has the danger high voltage sign with the city of Elkhorn's telephone number and the warnings that you should consider when work and when playing around the green box. What we want to express to you the importance of if you find one of these boxes that was inadvertently left open, please call the electric utility immediately. We will respond immediately and take care of it. If you get that, would happen to contact something in that green box, the same applies. Electricity is looking for, again, its source to ground. From the electrical components inside, you would be creating that source to ground. Another occurrence that you might find in your backyard is after a storm or a situation that would cause the wire to fall off the pole down into a swimming pool. Once that wire becomes in contact with the water, the water becomes a, con uh, becomes a conductor so if you find electric wires near a pool or down a pool that they don't belong or if you're cleaning a pool with a long aluminum pole that you use to sweep the bottom of the pool, be careful that that end of that aluminum pole isn't sticking up into electrical wires. And if your parents are planning on putting a pool in the backyard, 
please contact the city of Elkhorn before you do it because we will point out to you the appropriate codes and distances that pools must be from electrical wires. For our next demonstration, Ken is going to show you the hazards of kite string. Another thing that we'd like to talk about is the dangers of working around electric lines, whether it be with a line truck like we have demonstrated today, or a crane in the process of putting up a tower or any other uh, physical or type building that he could be conducted uh, with, or perhaps even picking up something under the electric line, like moving this transformer, picking it up and loading on the truck. Whenever you get the boom in contact with the wires, the same process applies. Electricity is looking for that path to ground. It travels down the boom into the line truck. Ken will demonstrate now what would happen if you walked up to that line. Next, I'd just like to talk about other hazards, common hazards in the backyard. One of them was carrying a ladder. If one was to carry a ladder, it was a metallic ladder or even wood ladders or fiberglass ladders, you should not carry them upright so that the person carrying the ladder could be in contact with the wires at the same time. Again, you're creating that path to ground. The electricity traveling through the ladder to get to you goes through your body and through your feet to the ground. Another hazard that's commonly found in backyards is people putting up antennas on your roof. Now, there's rules that apply where antennas go, first of all, an antenna can't be placed within the confines of the wire where if the antenna were to fall, it would fall into the wires. The reason for that is obvious. If you were installing that antenna and it was long enough to fall into the wires, you'd become in contact with the wires. The last one is trees. Never climb trees that have electrical wires going through them. The wire will come in contact with you. It'll send that electricity through your body and a tree is wet enough and green enough and a very good conductor of electricity and it will complete that path to the earth's surface and you will be part of that path. Trees are conductive. They will conduct electricity. So they will create that path to ground. So once you touch the tree, the electricity again goes to your body, goes to the tree, down to the ground, completing that path. our safety presentation today and I'd like to let you know on behalf of the city of Elkhorn if you would like to have this demo this uh, to your fire department or a school program or any other safety program where it is of an interest of people working or playing or in or around or near electric lines. If you would like to have this presentation please feel free to call 741-5129. Again, my name was Arch Schmitz, and thank you for your time and your efforts, and think safety. Thank you.